just cleaning up the um, leg with the Dremel. Sometimes I use an angled diamond bit, sometimes I use a straight one. I'll use an angled one for a couple of minutes. It's like a rough clean. You know, it is turning 3,000 revs per minute, so it can bite into you. Good shape now. Well, if I change the finer one, grind a little more. Now you don't have to epoxy this in. Um, I'll show you on this leg. You don't have to. I'm so, sorry. You don't have to solder the parts in. You can actually just use the JB weld if you want to. So we lock this in here. Oh, it's a little tall. I got these diamonds here lately. A whole package of them. You can see that there for very cheap, I think Littles or something. And you know, it was a really good deal. See, you've got all these little flat diamonds you can get in there now, see? And you can shape whatever you like. So I'm finding them very handy for these kind of um, jobs. So. Really, you know, with these at least, it's hard to cut yourself, so that's good. As you can see, I'm shaping the hoop field. Give the hoop some definition. And you'll always have a little stub back here. An indentation right behind the hoop. Make it a little more realistic. 
you know Sometimes I use a needle file to finish this off. I like doing my filings though. So. That looks pretty good, you know? In general, a little bit of a bump there. Trying to get a better shape out of this, it looks weird at the moment. Maybe the hoop is a little too high or something, I don't know. Make a heavier indentation. Try and get some feel to this. Oh, there you go, it's getting there. The hoop's a little big. Right? So the hoop's a little big in that, but you know, I have my a whole pile of needle files here, different types. You know, all sorts here. Throw them in so you can see them. Or take them out of the package, I gotta clean the package anyways. So, you know, you can take the little needle files and try to make some shapes here. Can you see that? So, there I go. I'm not crazy about the size, it's a bit big. And I'll keep doing this till I get a really nice shape. If I don't stick my finger too often with the point. So, it's coming along and, you know, it's going to basically I'll take this off a sec. Got a flat surface. Where are we? There. The hooves got a line like that, roughly, see? So, we're getting there. I changed the line a little bit. The cow's just going down to eat. So, a little round file in here a bit. There's a muscle here on the side. I'm going to keep that going at least so you can see it want a little bit of a muscle showing there mean to like that Yeah, this one I just sold around needs filling here, and they need filling back here. I didn't fill those slots up totally. And here, and here, where there's a hole. But in general, I got the shape pretty good. And we'll just put a bit of filler in there and file again. I've been shaping for a while now. I had to sole the two front legs in. I couldn't use JP well, they were a little too loose. Just to get them fixed, because when you file, if you have JP well, sometimes you break them off, which I used to do. I'm finding this method much better. I find the hoofs a little bit off sometimes. Just cleaning up the legs now. Diamond Dremel. Doesn't cut your finger at least, that kind of way, so very safe.
Yeah, so I keep doing this a while until I get the shape and then I'll use a file. So, so I'll just use some of the diamond different, as you can see here, the different diamond drill bits. Clean it up, get a really nice shape and then I'll file it. I'll show you the filing. And we'll be ready for undercoat. So now I'm just going along with the file, needle files, you know, different ones. And I'm smoothing things out a little, right? Various shapes. And you know, more importantly, I can shape the hooves and get the cow standing, you know, as straight as I want him to. This hoop could come down a little, see? And get him quite straight like that. Clean this up and then we'll do a little spray and we'll see where we're at with this. You know? See if I like the look, you know? Shaping with the file is really nice. It's kind of like Zen. Like meditating nearly. If you get used to it. But it also makes a lovely finish most of the time. I think I'll paint the uh, cow the cream and the brown and the orangey brown in the end. So, you know, we're pretty close. I'll keep filing for another little while and we'll be ready to un undercoat. <laughs>